This is 55 TV and we are in 55 Studios with Cosmo Sarson. How are you doing? Very well, very well, thank you. Great. Um, how are you feeling? You've got a show just about to come up and I know you've been working really hard. It's taken like four months out of your schedule. It has uh, and painting right up to the wire at the moment. I just started a brand new painting yesterday uh, which normally would take me a few weeks and I hope to finish that by the weekend. Mm. So it's... it's uh, Pushing it, pushing yeah. it fine. Yeah. And that pressure is going to make that the best one that you do, yeah? <laughs> yeah I hope so. Always the last thing that you do is always yeah. the best one. Yeah. yeah. Um, how's your working process with um, this body work particularly? How's the working? The work in progress. I mean, your ideas have come from mythology, haven't they? On they this particular. Have. Yeah, so I've been uh, sort of delving into Greek myths and old masters and, and taking my inspiration, going right back from the start of painting, trying to contemporise it mm -hmm. and give it some sort of... Uh, twist with a an edge a, a street art edge i guess really um your work has always had that classical yeah. theme to it hasn't it yeah. where does this classical theme come for you what's what's your love about the classical theme uh i guess it kind of started off with the image that i'm most famous for which is break dancing jesus and and then i you know obviously was started looking at religious paintings and and uh things like that so so that's where the classical element came in was was uh, following on from that image um and that was that was when i started turning to the old masters for inspiration to mm -hmm. to follow up now you've got a lot of press for the break dance to jesus um how was that for you uh that was funny. It it went national and then it went international and, and it was a job, uh, you know, it's a big mural in Bristol that I was grumbling about because I was skint at the time, didn't want to do it and then turned up, spent six days painting this, this enormous building with, with a massive breakdancing Jesus on it and then I thought I'd go home and then the next day it, it suddenly went nuts and, and yeah, pretty much uh, kind of made me that image. Yeah, um, yeah. And um, was there any negative connotations came through, or is anything negative good press for you? Uh, I got a few emails, because it appeared in the Belfast Telegraph, and, and obviously <laughs> uh, that, that can be a, a bit um, touchy-feely, so I got a few angry emails mm -hmm. from, from some residents complaining that I was being somewhat sacrilegious, but mm -hmm. I like to think that the image was open-ended uh, yeah. enough for, for uh, not to be either critical or too positive, but but the actual mural did end up um, getting blessed by the Bishop of Bristol, so that was that was a good thing. So it has actually been embraced by the Catholic community as well. So, and personally, on a religious note, what are you? What do you feel about the religious? Uh, I am an atheist, or is it an agnostic? I think I'm an atheist. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm a I'm a non-believer, but I don't think necessarily believe that there is no God I just don't choose to believe in one mm -hmm. now your new body of work there is a there is an aggressive undertone we're going through it yeah. and a confrontation um, obviously a lot of classical work does work with this as well um, why have you worked with this uh, well I got a bunch of models in a room and various plastic swords and shields and you put those two together and it ends up with lots of people stabbing each other and, and that's just kind of how the photo shoot turned out and then I was stuck with these images and um, yeah it, 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 they're just uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's lots of people being murdered mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of what Caravaggio does when you look at some of his work yeah, as well. It's, sure, it's all, sure. all people being beheaded and mm -hmm. things like that. So. And you've obviously been a f fan of the classics from an early age, yeah, and that's yeah, really I where you. I was classically trained, so obviously I've, I've, I've studied these old masters mm -hmm. since, since I learnt fine art, so that's, that's where I've come from. Yeah. Um, you're from London, yeah. uh, you've spent a lot of time here as well. Um, you still live in London? I do, yeah. Um, it's such an edgy and urban city. And I suppose it's still re rather classical as well, with the history behind it. What are your views about London at the moment? The last few years, it's changed dramatically, hasn't it, for a creative person and for somebody that actually lives on the streets as a normal being rather than being extremely wealthy. What do you think about London these days? Well, I'm a North Londoner born and bred, so I grew up in and around Camden and Islington. Um, the biggest change I've seen is around Shoreditch and, and Brick Lane and that area. Um, I'm not quite sure what to say. I, I, I'm a bit worried that people are being driven out by, mm -hmm. by house prices and, and uh, creativity may mm -hmm. suffer a bit, but that doesn't seem to be affecting uh, the street art 
side of things and, and if in actual fact it's, it's um, probably pushed that up a lot more that there's a bigger presence of, of that around the streets um, your show's on at Pure Evil Gallery yep. and it's on the 2nd of April yeah are you going to be relentlessly out until then I am I'll be painting right up to the wire possibly the night before we'll s <laughs> yeah I, I, I spent four weeks on a painting that that was beautifully finished and then I took a spray can to it and, right. and demolished it so I'm down a painting and I'm trying to pull that out the bag now as we speak and um, what did you learn from that um method of spraying over something what was your uh, don't don't drink and paint <laughs> <laughs> I had a few too many beers right. and thought this will look okay, good <laughs> and uh, yeah wafted a spray can over it and then and then ruined three weeks work but uh, yeah. that was the lesson I drew from that one yeah and at this time that you're fin kind of finishing his body of work together have you got a thoughts of another body of work or is it time for you to sort of completely think about something else no I think what's happened with this one is uh, that it's just opened up a new area for me to investigate. So after the show's done, I actually feel like, you know, I'm progressing somewhere. So I, f I feel like I know where I'm going and where I want to take my work. Okay. Uh, so probably all the best work may well happen after the show as a, as a result of all the investigation I've been doing in order to get to this point. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to that. Great. Um, this is 55 TV, Cosmo Sarsen. The show is on the 2nd of April at the Pure Evil Gallery. Um, we look forward to seeing you down there, yeah. Nice to see you, nice to chat. <laughs>